Bum, I will give you a pair of tickets to see the King of Duck. The man who I think started it all, Lee Scratch Perry. Well, we got our own Kings of Duck sitting right here. They'll be on the mic in about five minutes. Duck Spin. It's the Rude Boy. You're in the line. Yeah. Everybody up here. Everybody up here. WPB FM in Philadelphia. What you hear in the background is what you're going to get just a little taste of tonight. Tomorrow they're going to give you a whole show. But I got them right here in the studio, Dub Smith. And we're going to sit down and talk to them. They just got back from Jamaica. They still got sand on their shoes. They're right here in the studio. <laughs> and we're going to sit down and talk to them. It's the Rude Boy. You're in the Lions Den. <laughs> Smith, and we're going to get your final thoughts on, on what they're going to be doing, what they're going to be upcoming events, so everybody can check them out. And I know you guys are going to be in Philadelphia for a minute, but you're going to get ready to go on another tour. Yeah, man. Okay, which is going to be really, really soon. Yeah, man. It starts September. And, and New we York, guys, D.C., uh, uh, Canada. Uh, I'm trying to set yard up right now, of yeah, course, man. We have yeah, to bring man. King Tubby Sound back to Jamaica. How you mean? Yes. <laughs> you know, yeah. not that it ever left, but you know, it's you know, oh, through man. people like Jasmine Sullivan and certain people like that, still keep the sound of King Tubby's like blazing with their new tunes. Give but thanks. you know, give thanks, man. yeah, man. Jasmine Sullivan out of Philadelphia. Yeah, man. Um, I, 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 I want to say this. Um, I, I, I work with a lot of cats here. A lot of professionals, a lot of rude boys, a lot of other brethren from Jamaica that are living here for lucky that have yeah, got a little thing going. But you guys, you are down to earth, okay? And I, I, I said this to uh, Brother Monty, who's here in the studio with us. I said, watch him come in on the bikes. Because that's the way they are. And they move right up on the bikes. Yeah, man. <laughs> and I said, I love these guys. Because they're, they're, they're so down to earth. And, I'm gonna give thanks and, I mean, <laughs> if you met Dev Smith personally out on the street, you, you swear there was like just a couple of cats just walking down 52nd Street, you know, saying, hey man, I'm going to give us some soda. But these guys are so down to earth. And if you want to hear them perform, and I can't stress this enough, if you haven't seen Dev Smith, tomorrow will probably be the only local chance you'll get to see him live outside. They're coming to do our two year anniversary. They're taking time out of their busy schedule, like we've been talking about. They're in the middle of a tour and they decide to do us a, a favor and come and help us celebrate our two year anniversary once again. I give thanks to the Most High for Doug Smith. Thank you guys for coming in tonight. Yes, sir. Give thanks to the Most High. Thank you so Every much. Every time. Uh, we're going to be on that new record. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I promise you. Chef, I, live in the I, I, I took it home and said, I don't know, I ain't playing this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, but we'll have it on next Saturday, uh, next Monday night, because we'll be back on the air Monday night from 10 to 2, and we'll play it then, okay? This is the Rude Boy. You're in the Lions Den. Don't forget, tomorrow afternoon, you heard them talk. You heard their music. Come see them live. Dub Smith celebrating the Lions Den two-year anniversary right here at 88.1. Everybody, if you come out for that. This is the Rude Boy. We'll be here at 10 o'clock. Bless.